All right, first off, how we doing, fam? Hope you're all staying safe. Welcome back to more Final Fantasy 16. Hope you're liking these longer videos. I hadn't planned on, I guess, doing it this way, but I think last minute I decided, hey, I want to try a two hour part one, and then I'm going to try over an hour for each part after, because I've heard this game is about 30 hours long. If you stick to the main story, that is, it's 20 hours <laughs> if you skip all the cutscenes. So, which I'm not going to do that, obviously, but that's 10 hours of content that's just watching. So, Anyways, love you all. If you want more of this series, just keep all like support. I love you all. Let's go ahead and get this. Should be loading in pretty fast. Yeah, there it is. It's always right where we left off. I love that. All right. Been eager to play more of this game. Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? It's not one of my most viewed series in a long time. I didn't think it would be because Final Fantasy has always kind of been like a... Uh, I guess a small audience on my channel. It's not like I know I play a ton of different games, but you know, I played 15, I played 7 remake. I just want to experience this because I would anyways, you know. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, oh, still have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up the scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Normally, I would explore around a bit, see if there's, like, side stuff, but after seeing how the last few side missions didn't give me any XP, really, I mean, give it, like, five each. Um, I might talk to her really quick. Hold on. She might have something new. I don't know. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's better. You know what? And there's one free... What is this? Hold on. Rook's Gambit. It reduces cooldown. I didn't know that was going to be in the game. That's pretty cool. Uh, all right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here to the blacksmith really quick. And see if I can craft using the forge and everything. The stuff that... Hold on. What is this? Wait, what? Stormcry. Okay. We're 100% making this. Because that's what we do. I'm all about gear and games. Okay, so you can't craft the other ones. Reinforce, though. Like, can I reinforce that? I don't see it on there. Anything else? I guess it's not reinforceable. Is that the word? I don't know. I did equip it, right? Just want to make sure. Oh, yeah. Man, that's a pretty substantial jump. Okay. Abilities, I have about... Why well, is 731? Let's see. I didn't know what to really use this for because part of me wants to save up for these like main abilities because if you look at the overall damage well this is about the same as that but I've already upgraded that once so I don't know I really have no idea I almost want to save it and try to get this you know here's what I'll do I'll save up for either this one or this one or maybe by the time I have that much. Maybe I have like a third thing. Because I'm assuming we'll have this in the top middle. That's right. Maybe it goes around the circle. We'll see. I'm going to hold on to it for now though. Alright, I'm going to buy the other two. Try to make my life a little easier. Alright. Good there. Um, I feel like I should sell the other swords. You know? Like, do I really need these? Because I've already... Yeah. I'm just going to get the money because I'm thankful you got that much. I don't want to get too attached to weapons in this I game because I know that none of this stuff's going to matter probably within like the next hour. <laughs> so, all right, purchase. Now I can use that and then buy this. Find a better I'm going to equip it. Same for the battle chains. Hey, equip that as yet. well. I don't have enough for this one, but... I think I'm fine either way. I should top off potions. Let's go ahead and do that. Not find a better One of each. Not. Okay. Now let me see if I can reinforce this stuff I just bought. Well, just a little bit. I have to be a lot. 
Um, okay. That's crafting. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have... I need... Okay, I need some kind of valley thing. Okay. Anything else? I think we're good. All right, I think that should be everything. I'm assuming right now all we got to do is just open the map. Let me check this really quick, see if there's anything new. Stage replay, arcade mode, hall of virtue. Okay, same stuff. I'm assuming if you do some of those, maybe you get extra items. I don't know. All right, world map time. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick to the critical path, mainly because I know this is a long game. Now, if there's a side quest, because here's what I'm going to do. This is one of those games I'm going to be playing. Best believe I spent a lot of time on Final Fantasy VII Remake after I finished the series. I still play it to this day. So I'm going to be playing this game for a long time. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Please, think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gab. But we both know that... No buts about it. All right, a few things I wanted to talk about that I didn't get a chance to because when it was happening, I was just so caught up in everything. Hold on, let me... Get it, boy. Little air hug. All right. Okay. That time I was some food, I guess. This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Gal on a wild goose chase. So I kind of like how everyone's like a dominant of a certain type of element. So the craziest thing was... Let me go to the actual gear really quick. Yeah. So, when we got this one, I thought so. I thought the character died, but it looks like when I was editing, I went back and saw the cutscene again, and I was like, well, it's like she, I guess, let go of some kind of spirit, and then that's like her other form or something? I don't know. So I'm sure she's going to come back into play eventually, but it's like, it was actually this little symbol that my icon's on. That's what she kind of turned into. I don't know if that means she's still there or not. From what I saw, she died, so I don't know. Uh, that's one thing about this game. It's kind of a mystery. Oh, hold on. Can I hop down? All right. Here we go. Level 17 oh, Black it. Widows. Oh, no. Get him, boy. There, boy. Watch out. Get him, boy. But I, I thought it was cool we saw Odin as well. Now, I didn't like I don't get a chance to talk about the cutscenes much because by the time we get back to the gameplay, it's been so long, you know? So I'm over here like talking. Alright, here we go. But seeing Odin was so sick. I was like I mean how much bigger he was than everybody else. I didn't realize Like that's I mean, talk about giants, you know. Soundtrack is very relaxing. One Final Fantasy I never got a chance to play, but I still own it, uh, was Final Fantasy Tactics. Never got a chance to play that one. If any of you played that, let me know. Uh, a lot of people either say that's like one of their favorites. I do love like the gameplay style of it, the art design, all that stuff. I love games like that, you know.
<laughs> Always three sharp fangs. It's either like two or three. Never just a single one. What now? Uh-oh. Hold on. Oh my. Hey, buddy. Minotaur. Oh god. This is gonna be a tough fight. Gotta watch the movements really quick. Oh my goodness! No recovery. There it is. About to get a stun run. Hold on, let's see. I push it. This time. There we go. Get him, boy. You know what to do, boy. Get him, boy. Still love that magic attack. So nice. I like how before the enemy can even get back up. You're already kind of breaking the bar again a little bit. Very nice. That does a lot of damage. Oh, hold on. No, there it goes. That was a lot of stagger damage. We got close to 10,000 there. All right, 18 XP. Uh, we got 30 of the points. Okay, what do we get here? Crafting materials, nice. Another perfect little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. I was talking to a friend of mine who's like big on gaming as well. well most of my friends are actually. <laughs> uh, but they asked me what my top games of the year was. I, I told him I was like, look, I have not finished this game, but I think it's in my top three already. Can't be much further you know? Now. This is like exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, hold on, we got some hornets. I feel like this is where you want to use this, Rick. Hit him in the air. There we go. Gotta bring him in with Deadly's Embrace and then... Uh-oh. Little double hit right there, nice. I think one of my all-time favorite gaming moments that I ever had was when I was a kid. That was back when I, you know, we couldn't afford a lot, you know? I had a PlayStation, finally. Uh, it was a, one of the first consoles that I had owned after, I think I had a Super Nintendo and Sega. Uh, and then I didn't have anything. I didn't have, like, Nintendo 64. I never got a PS3 until later on. Uh, the Xbox, I bought one of my first paychecks ever. Actually, the first game I ever bought with any money that I got from a job... If you could guess the game, you could pause the video if you need to right now. I'll give you like 10 seconds, I'll tell you. Oh, come on. Let me through. Get him, boy. You know All right, I'll tell you. <laughs> so calm, US Navy SEALs, the second one. And it just released. I used to be in a clan in the first game. 
I'm taking a lot of damage here. Probably... Hold on, let me get... One of my all-time favorite gaming memories, though, that I was going to talk about was... Uh, I guess I can kind of talk while fighting. It's not overly complex. It's more about just getting the small enemies out of the way, so it's a, a 1v1. You know? Was that because I did a little, like... It was, like, early one morning, and I had been... Anytime I went to, like, a local store with, like, gaming stuff, they had a guide for Final Fantasy VII. We didn't have the internet or anything. Um, and I remember reading up on, like, the emerald weapon. You needed to get some kind of, like, underwater materia or whatever. Because it's, like, a 20-minute fight or whatever if you don't. And you don't do enough damage. Well, I leveled up, leveled up, leveled up, and then all of a sudden it's like I finally got the materia. One morning, it's like seven in the morning, probably. I decide I'm I'm always up for anybody else, anyways. And I was fighting Emerald Weapon, and I think I fought I fought it for like 40 minutes. <laughs> and eventually, once it shook, showing that I actually defeated it. I ran to my sister's room and like woke her up like look what I'm doing. <laughs> she didn't know anything and uh I just remember that moment the ruby weapon was also pretty tough because I think that one would take away one of your characters in the very beginning of the fight and it was kind it was like a RNG type thing but that was one of my all time favorite gaming moments another one was I had a friend that would come over anytime I would play I played Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3 all on Extreme, which is like the highest difficulty. Uh-oh, we got a cutscene. Here we go. over and watch me anytime I play certain games because he wanted to see like how it's done or whatever because he didn't he didn't own the games or whatever at the time. But I just saw one, two, and three played on extreme. And I remember when I got to the third game, I was fighting that boss called the end, that sniper. <laughs> and uh man I remember I'm talking about a tough fight. Lasted forever. But the end snuck up around me and, like, basically gave me a game over. I remember, like, that whole sequence was crazy. Situation. You're late. Go to trouble. What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the drive. Got some help, at least. I thought it was cool seeing what Sid transformed into. Is like, uh, oh, I always forget the name. I feel like doing a lot of damage to the dragon. If it is a dragon, I don't know. It's like one. Hold on. Let me just, uh... 
Wait, so uh oh. Maybe I should just focus. Gotta make it a little bit easier for myself. Oh, that's nice. Ow. High potion. Good grief. Yeah, I, I feel like I should probably. Oh, wait, so 1v1. No, nice. Or it's us versus uh, the knight. Kind of playing a little reckless here, but it's all good. Man, that damage is significant. Should be enough. This is a pretty tough fight. Maybe I should have saved some of these potions I have. All right, double jump. That's the first one. Oh my! My goodness! Get him, Sid. Take down. Uh oh. Come on, let's finish him off. You know what's coming. Hit the thing goes up, so I miss like half the damage there. But there we go. Night of the Dying Sun Slain. 448 XP? That's a level up right there. That's a lot of gill as well. I'm guessing that was a pretty substantial fight in the game because that was the most stuff we've gotten in a while. Come on.
Clive uh. doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're going to find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. Thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah. Well. <laughs> no birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. He must be stopped. That was a nice little reveal. All right. Wait. I know about Travel's location. Return to the hideaway. There we go. Out to fire you as like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you Clive. on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. Right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. Now, I'm not really, like, fully in the loop on the story, but what we've seen... Okay, the reveal of Margrace, I'm guessing that's the character's name, looked a lot like Joshua. Now, if that is the same character, I mean, I'm, I guess he survived, right? Oh, wait a minute. 
visit the infirmary. I, you know what? Let's do the other things first because before we go anywhere, we got the fast travel out here anyways. So let me go talk to everyone. I was kind of wondering now if that is Joshua. I'm not sure if the way they had his character, he's so strong in the prologue, you know? Uh oh. then it really is you it is Clive you're alive so are you I still can't believe it Are your wounds healed? Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke, and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or... See my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? <sighs> what happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again. Not long ago, the second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night. The hooded man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, I and you did what you said you did? Then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. 
Sorry. I'll see you soon then, Clive. I should be ready too. We've a long journey ahead of us. It says new items are oh, we got new items. Time to upgrade. We're looking at half a dozen. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. Wait, what? Oh, it's a little bit better. I just made the storm cry. <laughs> like, what? All right. Uh, all right. You know what? Let's see what we can craft first. And because there was that one. Oh, I need to get. Hold on. Let's prioritize these, which I don't know if I really need to because can I just die and get like a game over and it reset everything? You're rubbing I don't me know. Blind, Let's just you do know. it this way. You'll not find a better price. I will sell that. extra stuff though. Hold on. Let me go down and just sell anything that I'm not using. Yeah, because I don't know. While the green is obviously better. I guess it's like common, uncommon. Uh, then it goes straight to purple? I don't know. You got out else? I'm going to sell these. I reckon I can find a buyer. I'm not getting attached to anything. Wait, I don't have that equipped? Hold on. I'll be thankful you got that much. Yeah, can, hold on. Compare it. Uh, okay. Well, why don't I... Why don't I unequip that? Who knows? These give you so much, but I'm not selling those. I don't believe there's a buyback option, so I don't want to do that. Off you go, then. I'm best of luck. We're going to go see if we can craft that sword really quick. Hold on. The one thing I want to see is... Oh, it's because it's plus two. I mean, it's fine. Two. Hold on. Before we go speak over there, let me just see what we can craft. What do you want? There it is. So, what do I do here? I need a wind shard to make this better. I'm assuming the purple's better, right? Like, overall? 135 to this? What do I need for this? I got everything for it. Let's go ahead and make it. It last you a good while. Equip it, why not? This is better, but... So, certain ones are leveled up. Okay, defense, HP... Well, we definitely need to make this. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, that's right. Not bad. If I do say so myself. Let me see if I can reinforce that, because... Makes it to 160? All right, let's get it. Yeah, that should do you. I think we're good. I feel like I messed up somewhere in there. So we got these two weapons. That's good. Okay, so... Sacrificing HP for two defense. I actually, I don't know. I feel like I should put this one back on because. Yeah. As far as these, I'm just going to keep them on there. Um, I may eventually swap these out because I've been using. Yeah, the timely assistance one is nice, but I don't really know. I feel like sometimes I'm healing myself. I might. I'm going to take this one off. Uh, yeah, let me do that. Which one is, is this one right here? Okay. We're going to change that with defense by 10. There we go. Fine. We should be good to go now. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be. Clive, and not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you with Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. 
Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady? Ready. All right, journey into Rosario. Okay. Three reads. All right, here we go. Rosaria, it's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, is just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. Mostly, I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. to you. We should press on. Man, this area looks really nice. Okay, homecoming. Man, this game is so good. I can't get over it. That's in at the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. I'm assuming these are friendly NPCs. Hold on. Yeah, we're chilling. So she's going to help us in combat. Should we go fight this thing over here? I don't know if I really want to sidetrack too much. <laughs> Stay on top of the crafting, but we got a side quest up here, but I'm not going to do too much side stuff right now. Building the bridge, then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. That's not good. Oi, stop and give me an... Here, you couldn't give me an hand, could you? Typical. A bloody bearer. And just when I thought my luck had changed. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught a whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. It was really late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest. But I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Might as well. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll hold on to it. Whatever. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, 
passing along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then, and don't go taking any detours on the way. Not gonna prioritize it right now, but if I can do it later on, that's great. I just know most of the side quests don't really seem to give you too much. Alright. We're gonna still make weight. Now, it's on the way, so I'm fine with getting it. I just wanna fight something. How y'all doing? I guess not. <laughs> that does so much damage. Yeah, I don't know, like, having the auto... I guess I could just keep it... Keep it on this part of the menu, and then if I need a hill, to switch over real quick, you know? Because then I'm just tapping, you know, up, down, right, whatever. I gotta admit that I've been playing this game for about 50 minutes right now. I'm not sure how long this video is up at this point, but I'm gonna try to stick to the hour parts, but... Man, this game is just so good. It just flies by. Rest. That's one of our branded. Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Huh. Sounds about right. I'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizal greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight. The smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. That was a very short quest. All right. How much XP do we get from that? 18! Okay. And we got some crafting materials. I'll take it. I like chocobos. Man, I gotta tell you right now that... I just keep thinking about the times when I was playing on 7. You had to, like, race them, and then you had to, like... You barely have to I don't know how you get the gold chocobo. I just remember that one was the one you used. That and the Knights of the Round Table. Summon. I mean, all that was kind of connected, I think. Let's go and find out, shall we? All right, speak with Martha. Here we go. Kind of just been chilling out playing this game. I'm not really, like, doing, like, one video a day as I'm obviously recording this right now. Um, Make sure you're aiming that at the fish but I, I don't know. I've just been, like, taking my time with it. Not really in a rush. Not a lot of the games out right now. And I feel like the way I'm kind of recording this, kind of just going at my own pace. What is that back over there? We'll go there in a minute. Hold on. Oh, wait, what's this? When we had proper leaders and proper. Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said you might be able to help us. 
Follow me. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job, and he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. Your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. To the All right, Martha's then. request. Here we go. Let's find that ladder. This is probably the most gameplay we've had in a while without a cutscene. Well, that we just got out of a cutscene. Never mind. How are you doing, villager? Here. Has this thing always been glowing? Maybe. <laughs> Here's the gate, and that must be the ladder. Our right, Bernard hopefully is down here. I'm sure we won't have to fight anything at all, will we? Let's see. Hey, what? There's some stairs? Oh, no, it's a level ladder. Here we go. I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but I take a lot of notes when I'm uh, playing. So, like, during cutscenes, I'll be writing down stuff. Come on. But this session, I haven't wrote a single thing down. I'm just staring at the screen. <laughs> there he is. Well, here we go. How y'all doing? Yeah, I'm just trying to get used to using the, uh... I guess the other commands. There's not, like, a cooldown, I don't think. She's also helping us, too, so it's kind of nice. That uppercut is so clean. 16 XP. Alright. Yeah. Oh, that's the stuff I need. Well, I don't know if the crafting it now really matters, but... I'll just hold on to my materials for a bit. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Well, I, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, eh? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I said I'd take a look at it, but it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Ah, the trusses are still sturdy. 
It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed. Oh, I want to see if there's anything else around here. I guess I could just go straight to the quest. Might as well do that first. This is one of those areas we can come back to later on. There was something up here on the left I want to check out first. Hold on. What is this? A merchant? Alright, these are worse. Nice. Wait, you can buy this stuff here. Nice. What is this thing? Hold on. Adds a new song to the hideaways. Okay. Well, I'm not trying to spend gill on something that's going to get my channel deleted. So, I think I'm good. Alright. We roll out. Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. <sighs> well, thank the Founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They had nothing to eat in the North, so they come down here hunting for food. <sighs> he can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. Some pretty straightforward quests. Getting a lot of gill, though. I'll take it. Probably gonna need all of it, too. Here we go. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth. About why there are so few bearers around here. Yes. There were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? Either to the legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late, so the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Ah, Thea! Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. A boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison. I let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. 
Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. A bear's lot. It was good, honest. Like we're gonna be here for quite some time. So maybe the game finally opened up to where it's not as cutscene heavy. We'll see. It's like an elevator or something. Oh, it is. Here we go. Don't mind if I do. I haven't felt this excited playing a game in a while. That a bear is fate was decided at birth. And it seemed it was best for all concerned. I know. But for a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. Too far away? There we go. I was to get a little bit of XP, you know? One thing I'll be doing in between videos, or I guess between recording sessions, really, is I'm going to try to just, like, level up randomly by just fighting enemies, because it seems like a pretty good way to get XP, because the quests don't give you a lot, really. Well, the story quests do, but not the, uh, oh, hold on. There we go. How far? Hold on, let's see. Did that go? There we go. <laughs> yeah, look at that. 40 XP for, like, literally doing nothing. Hold on, there's stuff around here. I want to just go collect a few things. I'll deviate from the critical path for just a few moments here and there, but nothing too crazy. I don't know why I keep wasting that. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, do I want the extra defense or just have that auto going on? I don't know. Look at that, 24 XP for like literally just like fighting three things, you know? I was just trying to... Hold on. Get him. I think if I was going to change this class a little bit... I don't know if it's like, not really called a class, but that's what I'm calling it. I would change the, uh, the ability where you fly up. It seems kind of pointless almost. But you could also com okay, you could combo right there. Deadly embrace and then do that. Very nice. All right, four pinches. <laughs> That's about it. Can I go across water in this game? Oh, you can't. What in the world? I said the first time I've seen a video game where you can't go in the waters since like, like Grand Theft Auto 3? <laughs> I don't remember. Like, why would you fight the bluebird? I don't really get it. Like, why is that one a problem, you know? All right, we keep it moving. Very well. 
That's a lot of hits. That does a lot of damage if you can, I guess, land it, you know? Thirty XP for nothing at all. Thirty two actually. Five gil, I'll take it. This would be a really good year for gaming, like in the second half. There's I'm mostly excited. Uh oh. Darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. I don't want to fight everything. I just see something like glowing and I'll just want to go collect it, you know? Yeah, second half of this year, we're kind of getting there. After this game, it's pretty much like, you know, here we go. July through December. We got Spider-Man 2, Assassin's Creed coming up. All kinds of stuff.